In this video, we're going to find some equations of tangent lines. So for the first one, we want to find the equation of the tangent line at 1, 0 for y is equal to x minus the square root of x. So let's recall that the equation of the tangent line always looks something like y minus y0 is equal to the slope m times x minus x0, where these y0 and x0 values usually correspond to a point x0 y0. So in this case, our y0 is going to be 0, and our x0 is going to be 1. So what we need to find here is we need to find the slope, which is m. So how do we find the slope? Well, we take the derivative of y is equal to x minus the square root of x. Okay, so y prime is going to be the derivative of x, which is 1, minus the derivative of the square root of x, which is just going to be x to the 1 half. So we're going to get 1 over 2 times the square root of x. Okay, so what is the slope? Well, this y prime is the slope. So this is our m value here. So what we could even do is we could write this as y prime here if we wanted to. Okay, so we need to plug in our x value here. So we have x is equal to 1. So y prime is going to be equal to 1 over, or 1 minus 1 over 2 times the square root of 1, which is just equal to 1 minus 1 half, which is equal to 1 half. So our slope here is 1 half. So we can put that into our equation down here. So y minus 0 is equal to 1 half times x minus 1. So let me move this up a bit. Okay, so this means that our tangent line is going to be y is equal to 1 half x minus 1 half. Okay, this is the tangent line at 1, 0 for the equation y is equal to x minus the square root of x. So let's continue this in another example. So let's find the equation of the tangent line at 1, 1 for y is equal to the fourth root of x. So again, this is just equivalent to saying x to the 1, 4. Okay, so we want to find our derivative, y prime. Well, this is going to be 1 fourth times x to the negative 3 fourths. Let's put in x is equal to 1, see what we get. This is going to be 1 fourth times 1 to the negative 3 fourths, which is just going to be equal to 1 fourth. Okay, so our tangent line is going to be y minus y0 is equal to y prime times x minus x0. So we're looking at the point 1, 1 here. So we're going to get y minus 1 is equal to y prime times x minus 1. And of course our y prime is going to be equal to 1 fourth. So y is going to be equal to 1 quarter x minus 1 quarter plus 1. So this is just the same thing as saying plus 3 quarters. So y is equal to 1 quarter x. So I should put this more in the numerator so it's not ambiguous. Okay, this is 1 quarter x plus 3 fourths. Okay, so those were two fairly straightforward tangent line questions. For the third one, I want to find the equation of the tangent line to y equals x root x parallel to the line y is equal to 1 plus 3x. Okay, so this is a little bit more confusing. So let's simplify our y here. So we have y is equal to x to the 3 halves. Okay, and this is parallel to y is equal to 1 plus 3x. Okay, so what is the slope of y is equal to 1 plus 3x? So here we have y prime is equal to 3. So our slope of y equals 1 plus 3x is 3. What is our slope of x to the 3 halves? Well, this is going to be 3 halves times the square root of x. So this is 3 root x over 2. Okay, so our slopes have to be equal to each other because we want the tangent line parallel to y is equal to 1 plus 3x. So our y primes have to equal each other here. 
So we're going to get 3 times the square root of x over 2 is equal to 3. So we can do some simplification here. We see that uh, 3 times root x is equal to 6, which means that the square root of x is equal to 2, which means that x is going to be equal to 2 squared, which is 4. So our x value here is going to be 4. So that's going to be our x0. Okay, so now we need to find our y value. Well, we can just put this back into the original equation. So y is equal to 4 times the square root of 4, which is just 4 times 2, which is 8. So we're looking at the point for 8. Our slope is going to be 3. Okay, so at this point, we now have an equation. So we have y minus y0, well, that's y minus 8, is equal to the slope, which is 3, times x minus x0, working with 4 here. So if we expand this out, we're going to get y is equal to 3x minus 12 plus 8. So y is equal to 3x minus 4. So this is the equation of the tangent line to the curve y is equal to x root x when it's parallel to y is equal to 1 plus 3x. Okay, so that one's a little bit more complicated. So to review the steps, first what we had to do was we had to find the slope. And we had to make sure that these two slopes were equal to each other. So the second step is we made the slopes equal. Okay, and once we found the slopes, we found the x value, we had to find the corresponding y value for when that occurred. So at what point on that curve did it occur? And then finally, with all that information, we can find the equation of the tangent line. Okay, so that's it for tangent lines. Hopefully you understand these questions a little bit better now because these are definitely some of the harder questions you can be asked. But whether you do it for derivatives of just the power rule or quotient rule, product rule, chain rule, it's always the same procedure. So if you get the procedure down, then you'll be good to go with these questions. Okay, as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them the best that I can.